have a Komatsu HD 1200M dump truck. It's made by Diapet and it's in 150th scale. Now this is a really important truck for a lot of different reasons. Uh, number one, it's Diapet. This is really big for Diapet. Diapet doesn't really make you know mining models. They don't make models this big. Um, and they really don't have as much detail generally as what this has. So that's interesting. It's something that uh, it's important to keep that perspective when you look at it. Because it's an older model. This is from about 1980, early 80s. And it's important to keep that in mind. Um, a die pet is made in Japan, which is fitting for a Komatsu. Now, why this is important for Komatsu is, at the time, the Cat 777 was like the go-to truck, you know, rock truck for quarries and mining and all that. Uh, it was just a really popular, you know, um, general duty class size truck. And that was, the 777 is rated for like 75 or 80 tons. And Komatsu set out to, to be a competitor, and they decided to go big. So what they did was they built the HD 1000, which was a 100-ton truck, and they built it in the way, like, they set out to build the 100-ton the truck, not to build a 100-ton, but because they wanted to build a 120. So they did all their engineering. It, it sounds funny, but they did all their engineering on the 100-ton so that they could have a 120. Now, this truck has a 1,200-horsepower engine and a transmission to go with it. So they went so above and beyond uh, what the industry standard was so they could come out and say, hey, look, we're here. We got the biggest, baddest truck on the market. We can do almost double what everybody else can do. Give us a call. And that's why this is important for Komatsu. This is where they really started getting big. And they, they took it seriously and they, uh, they over-engineered everything. And uh, so that, that's why... That's what makes this truck interesting. A lot of these older models, when you keep that perspective of why they're important and why they were made, it kind of puts it in a different light. Yeah, you know, when you think about that, that uh, so you know, Komatsu was really trying to make a statement with this truck that that they were the competitor to Caterpillar. Caterpillar was not the only name, and you had to give Komatsu a serious look. You keep that in mind, and then Diapet making this model along the go with it, with all the the ladders and the details. You know, you got the, the air cleaner up there, and the motor inside, and the the front axle doesn't steer, but you do, you have the steering struts. You got the uh, the rock cleaners and the tires. You know everything you have back here. This was so unusual for Diapet. So it's it's. It's fitting that they go hand in hand with uh, this particular Komatsu, you know, uh, truck and the model. Now, as, as far as the model goes, it's nice. It's really nice. Again, you keep that perspective. It's got a ton of plastic, but for the early 80s, this was really nice. Uh, you do have the scope and cylinders there for, for the dump bed. You can see the drive shaft underneath. Now, the motor is silver or chrome or whatever you want to call it which is not unusual for diapet um it's kind of goofy but kind of not i mean they they really wanted to showcase this 1200 horsepower motor you know they wanted it to stand out they wanted it to be like oh there's something special under the hood and they got that and Again, perspective. It's important to keep those things in mind. That's why they are the way they are. Uh, that's why the, the the motors are silver in the in the big bulldozers because they wanted it to stand out. They wanted it to scream attention. And a lot of the history of these models, the reason why these things are made is to sell the real machines. It's for the salesman to say, "Look, we got the rock cleaners here in between the tires, so you don't." you know, go catching boulders in between your tan, your, not your tandems, your wheels, and and throw them all over the road, your haul road. You know, we got your tank uh, over here where it's easy to fill. 
Yeah, you got your access ladder on the other side for your air cleaners. I think that's the air cleaner. I don't really know. I'm not sure. I'm, I don't drive these things. Uh, you know, you got your safety ladders all around the cab. Um, and then look at that giant, beautiful motor. Oh, my goodness. That's why these things are built the way they are. It's to sell the real truck. It's a lot easier for the salesman to point with his finger and, and go over the whole thing with guys that are going to build, you know, guys that are going to buy 30 of these things than it is to go outside and spend three hours climbing all over the truck. And again, perspective. That's why these things are made. And it's really cool to see that from uh, going on 40 years ago. And uh, you still see the same thing happening today. So anyway, that's about it for this truck. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. If that's not the air cleaner, let me know. I, uh, you know, that's what I think it is. I'd take my best guess here. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you'd like to see more of what we have, please subscribe to Maryland Construction Diecast. And thanks for watching.